Averages are a great source of integration examples, especially for motivating higher dimensional integrals. But before doing anything crazy like that, let's slow down. Let's think back and remember when we first learned about averages in the, the classical setting, maybe like an average test score or something like that. But that's really an integration over a zero-dimensional domain. Let's say that f has n different real values. Then f bar, the average, is what? You add up those values, you divide by n, the total number. And that makes sense if you draw a picture of the graph of f, as it were. But look, you can think about this, really, as an integral normalized by the number of data points, by the size of your domain. And that intuition really matches what we see when we talk about integrating over a one-dimensional domain and looking at a classical average of a function from the interval a to b, in which case you integrate the function, you add up all the values, and you divide by the size of the interval. That is, you're normalizing by that quantity B minus A. In both these classical cases, these are weighted sums. These are really just integrals.